So up lads, welcome back to another video, another match reaction. St. Tom Brighton one, of course, the man himself, uh, the absolute uh, Muppet himself, Neil Mope with the last mini equal. I just had to be, didn't it? Um, and I thought I'd do a match reaction, I wasn't going to at first, but you know, there's quite a few talking points coming out after the game you know, about Alex McCarthy apparently being injured and not coming off and um, it just, I just want to talk about the game. To be honest, I was at the game, uh, it was a very good atmosphere. Um, and up until the end, uh, of course, oh, 10 minutes added on after Trossard got injury. I think he'd done his arm or something uh, when he fell down. So hopefully he gets better soon. But um, yeah, that ended up with 10 men Brighton getting the 1-0 uh, the draw. It does feel like a loss um, in many ways because it is a 98th minute equaliser. I mean, it couldn't get much worse than that. And it's Neil Mopé going at the end. I mean, mate, when was the last time Brighton won a game in the league? I mean you know, tell me, I can't actually remember, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to have to say to Mope for that one, but, um, yeah, reports coming out after the game, apparently McCarthy was injured, even though he had a sub left, uh, one sub left at the end of the game, and he didn't tell anyone or communicate that, so that has ended up costing us a point, because McCarthy didn't want to come off, I don't know what's happening there, um, you know, if you're injured, come off, seriously, it, it's... It baffles me. I don't know what's happening there. I don't know if Rouse lost the dressing room or something like that because that's a bit strange, isn't it? I mean, Force is injured as well at the moment, so out of nowhere we have a goalkeeping crisis and it's like Harry Lewis is going to have to play against Arsenal. Uh, we, I don't think he's played a Premier League game in his life, so that'll be interesting to see. But to be fair, our goalies haven't been the best of the previous 12 months, so you know maybe he can step in and become the first-choice goalie if he really does play well. But hopefully this could be a blessing in disguise, maybe, you know, we could get Sam Johnston or maybe Dean Henderson in in January. Uh, hopefully that would be ideal, wouldn't it? But, um, yeah, not great though at the moment, especially with all the fixtures coming up that we have. Uh, I've got both our first choice goalies injured. Um, and, you know, the games are getting e easier from here. Today was a must win. Uh, we almost got the must win, but not quite. Rose's goal was absolute class. Sat, um um I was at Duffy on his bum and then puts the ball in the back of the net fantastic and you know we should have had more than one I think I remember the start of the second half I think ball across Adams could have tapped it in easily but uh wasn't meant to be um and yeah it didn't go to plan at the end and obviously with the free kick Walt Prowse going back on the line after the free kick is taken I don't know what's happened in there and playing Mopi on side receives him the room to score a goal um but yeah that is just how it is sometimes, you know, Leaf didn't lose, you can say, but again, it feels like an absolute awful loss. Arsenal next, uh, very kind of informed Arsenal. I know they lost to Man United Liverpool, but apart from that, have been fantastic this season, apart from the first three games as well. But, you know, we're going to struggle in that game. I think Romeo is out suspended as well, and Salasu is as well. So, uh, Ben Rett will probably still be injured. So, out of nowhere, we're starting to get all these injuries and suspensions back again, which... You know, we'll have a quite a thin squad for that Arsenal game, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, you know, it'll probably have to be Lanko and Stevens at the back, Harry Lewis in goal, um, Diallo in midfield. Um, it's not looking great, is it? But again, uh, that's what that that makes it today more important than we should have won. Really, we are six points out of the relegation zone, I think, which is all right at the moment. You know, it could be better, it could be worse. And uh, you know, if I, I think Newcastle's going to pick up in January. I think Burnley are always going to stay up, and Norwich picking up as well. So. You know, there's no team that are certain to go down this year. And, you know, if we don't start consistently picking up points, I think we only have three wins in 15 now this season, which is not good enough at all. Uh, we've drawn seven, I think, which, to be fair, isn't bad. But, you know, we need to turn these draws into wins. You know, it's simple as. I thought the referee was appalling. Anthony Taylor today, you know, he's referee games of the year. He's in the Champions League. I don't know how. He's an absolutely appalling ref every time I watch him, it seems. But... Um, yeah, uh, just poor, poor, poor today, um, and we couldn't quite hold out in the last minute, we played quite well, I thought, until the last minute equaliser, I was just hoping, you know, that's why you have to take your chances at the end of the day, that's why we should have got a second, which we should have got, really, um, but, um, yeah, results like that always are bound to happen, um, so, you know, it, we move, we move on to the next game, anyway, thank you very much, so guys, make sure you like, if you did enjoy and subscribe, if you are new around here, uh, and also check out my main channel on Footy Fan, links to that is in the description. Yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you soon. I'll try and do more match reactions, I know they're a bit inconsistent, but you know, sometimes I do have time to do them, sometimes not. And you know, if there's any interesting things that happen in the game, I'll probably try and do a video. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you soon.